pressing in the under-19s and the reserves over the last 18 months. So he becomes the 51st player since 2015 that has come through the Bradford Bulls academy structure. The referee from Cumbria, it's Whitehaven official Gareth Ewer. He has a wealth of Super League experience and it is time on here at Odsall Stadium in the baking warm sunshine and Rochdale will have first use of the ball and they will go from left to right. They will play away from the South Bank stand towards the Ruley Avenue Terrace in Bradford. They will defend the Ruley Avenue Terrace and they will attack the South Bank side and immediately it's an early error there from Lee Mitchell the Rochdale captain 20 metres out from his own line and that will be scrum head and feed to the Bradford Bulls good field position early doors we've had 30 seconds on Pulse 2 this afternoon yeah, Mick, John Keir has, has named a side here today, which I understand to be full strength. I really do. He's stayed with that settled halves combination. He's got Elliot Minchelli in at lock forward position, uh, that ball playing role on the short side as the Bulls now on the attack, 23 metres out. I expect the Bulls to dominate this game. It's one here for them. They can set the tempo. They can control the quality of this game. And I think it's up to them on their home turf to really steamroll this Rochdale side today. Elliot Minchella, second tackle gone, 15 metres out in front of the post, attacking the South Bank stand, it goes to Lilly, Lilly to Mills, one hand catch and pass, Mills goes behind Crossley, goes behind Lilly, now he's going to front up, straightened up and he's 10 metres out on the third tackle, we've had 90 seconds gone here at Odsall, Wilde in at dummy half to Crossley, Crossley, brute force, he's over the line. Crossley's got it down, has he? The cheering from behind the play. And the referee will say, held up, we'll go back to the 10. So perhaps Manny Stoughton not having the best of you, but he was certainly cheering that Steve Crossley had crossed the line for his third try. Fourth tackle gone, then play continues. And a nice little half break there from Lee and Kirk. Two metres out. Oohs and ahs from the terraces. It's the last tackle play. And Steve Crossley's coughed the ball up. And that goes into the former Whitehaven player, Dan Abram. Hands, and that will be a play of the ball for White uh, for, for the uh, for Rochdale, 10 metres out from the own try line, getting a bit tongue twisted here. A frenetic start, confident start, Damien. John Keir won't mind turning the ball over on the last tackle on that Rochdale line. Pulse two scoreboard, Bulls nil, Hornets nil. Very, very strong set in attack that. Rowan Mills involved a little bit, putting the short ball through. A Crossley, as always, high involvement early and good work rate. Very confident start from the Bulls, but so it should be. Um, they're the team that should win this today on form, and they're at home. As now it's Rochdale working it out off their own 40 metre line. The average age of the Bradford Bulls this afternoon, 23 years, six months. The season average when we were working it out, 24 years and two months. And as we said, that's going down when you think they've got James, uh, sorry, Thomas Doyle, 20-year-old. You've got Rowan Mills, 19. Very young, youthful Bradford Bulls side here this afternoon. Let us know on Bradford Bulls Live on Facebook, also on Twitter at Pulse2MDL, where you're joining us and listening from this afternoon as Bradford are just going to win the first penalty of the afternoon Rochdale they're inside the 10 after they had completed their set of six and they were on the last tackle and it was Ethan Ryan's quick play of the ball 10 metres out from his own line that has seen Rowan Milne's fine touch on this main stand side so fifth in the table against 14th Bradford they've won the last six games last suffered defeat on the 17th of March which was St Patrick's Day here we go then, full set of six on the halfway line, Stoughton on tackle one, it goes from Wilde to Kirk, tackle two, five metres inside the Rochdale half, centre field position, Wilde now to Minchella, quick fast hands from Minchella to Lilly, Lilly to Webster, along the line they go, and Webster's brought down 30 metres out from the Rochdale line on the third tackle, four minutes gone here this afternoon on Pulse 2, Bradford nil, Rochdale nil, Lilly in at dummy half, to Wilde, to Milnes, Milnes on this left hand edge, the stacks with Oaks, Oaks inside the Rochdale 20, Good tackle there from Abram, who wrapped Oaks up five metres in from this main stand side. Fourth tackle gone as it goes from Wilde to Kirk. That's the last tackle now for the Bulls. 15 metres out, centre field position. Jordan Lilly, cross field kick, looking for Dalton Grant. Dalton Grant palms it back in, and that's taken there by Ben Morris, the former St. Tellens centre for Rochdale. And he now will receive his first penalty. And Rochdale's because there's hands in at the rook. So penalty count, one apiece, five minutes gone and uh, a bit of a flat set there, a bit of a flat end to that set. I, I think the kick might have, was not quite 
you know, the 10 out of 10 kick that they were looking for. But other than that, I think the set was okay. Mick, they're passing it around very nicely, the ball moving through the right there. Wildey's getting very involved at first receiver there, uh, linking up with Lilly on the right side. In Ethan Ryan injected himself into the attacking line then to find Jake Webster. They'll break open this line. Uh, the handling's everything, and if they just keep doing what they're doing, it will break open. As Rochdale now moving it out. Some strong defence there, led by, uh, looks like, Liam Kirk, um, as uh, Rochdale are coming out off of their 35-metre line. 15 shy of halfway, they're going to shift it on this right hand edge, it goes towards Neff and Reed. Reed is up and over the halfway line and Rochdale now 10 metres inside the, the Bradford half, still in that centre field position, Ben Morris in there at dummy half, he's going to find the second row forward, the skipper Lee Mitchell, Mitchell will come up with that early error, making amends for that error, he's just outside the Bradford 20 metre line, just to the right of centre field as it goes through Carberry, Carberry attracting a lot of attention from Crossley and Minchin Rochdale on the fifth and last tackle, centre field, it goes to Abram, Abram looks up, goes through a gap, Abram takes on the line, sucks in Ethan Ryan and Rochdale Hornets have opened the score in here at Odsall Stadium, six minutes gone, it's four points to nil and there was a massive open there, there was a massive gap Damien. Do you know what, <laughs> it's been all the balls, that's the first touch Rochdale have had. Um, in the attacking 20 metre line and it was a very very nice play there from uh, Daniel Abram at, at half he took it to the line late in the tackle count he showed it and to be fair he found uh, somebody not switched on in the in the defensive line there on the inside easily found the try scorer coming up in support a very nicely worked try absolutely nothing on there now they hadn't really worked into the set they hadn't put the bulls under any sort of fatigue pressure there in the in the defensive set yet um, I've got to say that's a defensive error there this early in the game um, to not be um, not be taking out that half back there I think they call a ball watching Mick I think you're expecting the pass um, well, it's a nice little bit of quality there from the Rochdale halfback that's what it's about he will attempt to convert his try there Daniel Abram from in front the pulse 2 kick predictor 100% this one saying it's going over the black dot and between the posts which it does and the pulse 2 scoreboard says Bradford Bulls nil, Rochdale Hornets 6 well your harsh words in the Rochdale pre-match build up <laughs> and they might come back to haunt you Look, I was going to say it was bound to happen wasn't it as soon as I said I didn't think they were prepared and ready um, Having said that, I mean, look, you know, we're, uh, we're eight minutes gone. It's been all Bradford Bulls in quality and in possession. Um, I just think that's a very nice little bit of individual work. And the first tough defensive set the Bulls had on their line, um, I think a little bit of complacency there. I think those points will shake them out of that, and well, it should. Can't really fault Ethan Ryan at fullback. He had to go to Abram with ball in hand. And as we see on the restart, they're going to be awarded... Another penalty here, their third penalty now, Rochdale. This one for holding down in the tackle. And Abram's going to find touch just shy of the halfway line. So let's see what happens on this set of six. They certainly have a lot of enthusiasm as it goes from Abram to Reed. Reed is going to crash onto that short ball and he's brought down just a metre inside the Bradford half. Back out of dummy half there from Mars. Ben Mars giving it to Mitchell. Mitchell second tackle gone. Quick play of the ball here. Rochdale really taking the game to the Bulls as Mars goes out of dummy half. 25 out from that Bradford line on the third tackle. It's now going to go to the former Warrington Wolves Academy man Jack Cottington. Cottington's 20 out, fourth tackle gone, Moore's out of dummy half, they're going to go once again down the middle of the park with Carberry he's going to be brought down, five metres out on the last tackle can Rochdale go back to back, the lead 6-0, we've had eight and a half minutes gone here, Moore's looking for the support, the kick comes in from Scott Moore and they're going to score a second try here at Rochdale, it was a perfect grubber there from Scott Moore and the shock is on at Odsall Stadium, Rochdale have a shock lead, it's 10 Points to nil. Well, we talk about unpreparedness. And, you know, maybe I got it wrong. Maybe it's the Bulls that defensively aren't prepared because that's the second time now that Rochdale have gone down. Uh, some worrying signs just in tight around the edge. Um, some great work there from the Rochdale hooker, Ben Moores, linking again with Abraham and some very direct runs from Reedy in around the ruck. Got way too many metres, Mick. They worked down uh, too easily from the halfway line uh, to give a uh, lovely opportunity there for an attacking kick. Right on the 10 metre line, it was very, very well executed and it was well followed through and scored. Um, you know what? Bulls haven't started games well this season generally. Um, there's been a little bit of a, a lacklustre start to games. 
Um, we saw that a couple of weeks ago in a cup game where they really had to come back and fight back. It's a worrying trend. Uh, I know John Keir is aware of it and they've been looking to try and do some things to change it. Um, ball in hand, they've looked very sharp, the Bulls, they really have here early. Uh, they're working through their drills very nicely and they're finding the passes crisp and they're moving it well. Defensively, no, it's another story. And I, I think um, at 12 nil down now as that kick goes over, uh, if it's time to jog them into, uh, into movement and get out of bed, mate, now's the time, Mick. The former Whitehaven man, he come with former Rochdale coach Carl Foster from Whitehaven and the try from Ellis Gillam. He latched on to that perfectly weighted kick from Scott Moore and Dan Abram has converted from in front and it says Bradford nil, Rochdale 12 on the Pulse 2 scoreboard. Their last meeting here was Bradford 72, Rochdale 16. That was in the championship shield Bradford were relegated the pressure was off that afternoon but Rochdale did complete the league double over Bradford in 2017 winning here at Odsall 22 points to 14 and Rochdale already in the Bradford half third tackle gone and Bradford not in this game whatsoever now as Ben Moore's allowed to push the fending out of dummy half and they're 35 metres out from the Bradford line just on the left hand side of field it goes once again to Abram it now goes to Moore he's going to send one in to touch great game management there from Scott Moore he turns around Ethan Ryan and that will be scrum head and feet to the Bradford Bulls 10 metres out from their own try line let's check in on the latest scores in the Betfred Championship the result yesterday Toulouse 30 York City Knights 26 it's currently 0-0 scoreless between Barrow and Featherstone Batley leading Lee 6 points to 0 at Mount Pleasant Sheffield 0 Halifax 6 at Legacy Park and it is Widnes nil, Dewsbury 6 so a lot of shock scores in the Betfred Championship this afternoon I think every one of them has got the supporters who are listening in intently below our commentary position they're like wow is that for real but it is for real and if you're just joining us um, no you ears aren't playing a trick it is Bradford Bulls nil, Rochdale Hornets 12 and they've certainly been worth every point so far Damien there's just a hold up in play Bradford uh, will have the scrum 10 metres out uh, the, the, the official just putting a, a bit of strapping on uh, I think to Matty Wilde in football Mick they talk about box to box matches are won in the boxes at each end well, Rugby League, they're one in the attacking quarter of each end um, and defensively in an attack. The two times Rochdale have gotten down there, uh, Scott Moore, uh, Ben Moore's coming out dummy half. Uh, they're really going very direct and they're getting points on. Uh, the two very good attacking sets that the Bulls have worked to get down that end have failed to put the points on. A little bit of a worrying trend. That's been the case this year a lot um, for the Bulls. And they just need to rectify that. I do get the feeling that when the Bulls can get some points on the board, the floodgates will open here. They just need that attacking confidence. Um, they're trying to force the issue a little bit there and it's not... It, look, a little bit clunky, but as I said, I'm quite happy with the attack from the Bulls at the moment. It's defensively, but they need to find some shoulders pretty quick, and they need to get them in the ribcage of the Rochdale defence, and just start to dominate and physically um, get over the top of Rochdale a little bit here. So Manny Wilde has got the bandage on the forehead. He's changed the shirt, so there was blood on the shirt, so referee Gareth Hewer making him change it, and we're back underway so from that scrum, Webster on tackle number one, Stoughton on tackle two, and Bradford they're 25 metres shy of the halfway line, over on this main stand side, it goes out of dummy half from Wilde to Grant, Grant brought down there by Morris and Wood in a two man tackle, 10 shy of halfway, fourth tackle gone now, looking for options out of dummy half, Dalton Grant being held in the tackle, Wilde carries Bradford, good quick hands from Ross Soaks, the support from Rowan Mills on the inside. Defogging Johnston will take the Bulls. Five metres out from the Rochdale line. Fourth tackle gone. Mills, he's brought down. Rochdale inside the tang. That was a cynical foul there from Ellis Gillam. He raced out before the ball had even been played. That gave Rowan Mills literally no time at all to think about where the ball was going to go. And Bradford are going to tap the ball in front of the post. We've had 12 minutes gone. They're chasing the game here at Odsall Stadium. Down by 12 after the early tries from Abram and Gillam. And here we go. Kirk on tackle one to Wilde, to Lilly. It's gone backwards, picked up by Ryan. Ryan 15 metres out, puts the fending. And he's now dumped to the turf in a three-man tackle. 12 metres out from that Rochdale line. Just to the right of centre field. It goes to Wilde, to Crossley. Crossley down the middle. Crossley five metres out. 
Two tackles remaining here for John Keir's side as they hunt for the 45th try of the season. Will it come from Milnes? Milnes! Bit of hesitancy there, but Mitchell comes in and wraps him up. Fourth tackle gone, one remaining. It goes out to Wilde, deep to Lilly, across the face of the post to Farrell, to Webster, Webster to Grant. Can Grant squeeze in at the corner? Grant's going into touch. Great defence there from Rochdale. That Bulls chance comes to nothing, and it remains Bradford nil, Rochdale 12. 13 minutes gone, the Northern in a game, Damien. They do, um, a little bit too lateral there from the Bulls uh, in attack. They, they sort of crabbed a little bit to the right there, didn't quite draw the defence, and he ran out of room there, Dalton Grant. Although I must say, some very key work from the outside men in that set to get them down there and force the penalties. Dalton Grant, a very good hit up early in the set to get uh, out of the, um, the the Bulls out of their own territory. And a, and a, a very nice break down the side from, um, from Fogg and Johnson. He got outside his man with a great ball from Ross Oaks, uh, found space. He didn't panic. He had Milnes leaning up on the inside, but he was covered defensively, and, and he did very well to take the tackle. As now the Bulls force an error defensively. Who's in there and involved? Elliot Minchella and Steve Crossley, the go-to men, the class players in there have forced that error, and they'll be having a scrum feed 10 metres out from the Rochdale line. Right in front of the post on Pulse 2, the scoreboard. Bradford nil, Rochdale 12. That was Ellis Gillam who's come up with his second error. Rochdale's third of the afternoon and Bradford desperately needing some points here as they chase the game. 15 gone, it goes to Wilde from the scrum, to Crossley. Crossley's broken clear, Crossley's lost the ball. That was punched out for mine. The referee looks to the touch, should says, no, the onus is on the ball carrier. Bradford don't make it to tackle number one. And this is almost like a throwback to what was happening under Jeff Tuva here in 2017. The Bulls' completion rate currently at about 50% as Rochdale now struggle to keep hold of the ball as the Bulls' defence look to hunt another error deep inside the Rochdale half. And once again, it's Elliot Minchella in defence and Minchella will de Crossley now coming in to bring down Carberry, who's brought down just outside his own 20 metre line. Moore's in at dummy half to Moore. Moore goes probing on that left-hand edge, gives it to Declan. K. K puts the fending. K is brought down there by Webster and Minchella. Fourth tackle gone here for Rochdale. They're 12 metres shy of halfway. Exactly 15 minutes gone. It's Rochdale 12. Bradford nil as it now goes to the former Wigan amateur, Nathan Reedy. Reedy's brought down on the last. 45 out from his own try line. Centre field. The kick's going to come from Abram. Abram looks up straight down the throat of Ethan Ryan. Ryan takes that on the full on his own 10 metre line. He's past the 20. He's up to the Bradford 30. He's finally brought down on the 35 after a 25 made a run and Ethan Ryan's had the ball stolen in the tackle the referee though will say knock on from Ethan Ryan everything going against the Bulls here this afternoon that's their fourth error in the opening 15 minutes yeah look uh, Ethan Ryan's been in good field position for most of this game to date and um, he carried that ball back well that's come up with that error put himself on and the team under immense pressure here um, again it's coming back to Scott Moore again on that left-hand side of the Rochdale uh, attack, which are causing all sorts of tr trouble. Somebody's having a pretty special game out there for Rochdale early as well. Nathan Reedy, he's been in everything. He's running great angles and he's really giving them um, a handful. The Bulls' defence on that right edge as he angles his way in. As Rochdale now playing the ball 22 metres out. Well, there's a bit of urgency, a bit of shock on the terraces in the main stand here. Rochdale, the hunting a third try inside the opening 20 minutes here. It's going to be Ben Moore's in at dummy half. He's going to find Mitchell. Mitchell's brought down by Stoughton and Kirk in a two-man tackle. They're five metres to the right-hand side of the post. Moore's fancies one out of dummy half. Wildey and Crossley come in and wrap him up. Fourth tackle gone. Two metres out from that Bradford line. Underneath the post here, it goes to Mitchell. Mitchell sucks the defence into Moore, to Abram. Abram's brought down and Gareth Hewer says that is the fifth and last tackle. Bradford on their own try line as Rochdale go to Moore. Moore, grubber kick towards the corner. The Foster goal line dropout. Defogging Johnston. He had to apply downward pressure and scoop that one out. And Scott Moore, the former Bradford man, you may remember, he had a great 2017 here, played 21 games, three tries, 12 points. It's all about him coming back to haunt his former club. Yeah, look, that's a good repeat set force there. Uh, again, the grubber kick, which led to the second try, has also worked for a um, for a repeat set. It's a trick the Bulls haven't been executing well at the other end in attack, and it's something that little grubber kick in and a repeat set of points that they really need to work on a little bit. It's, it's not something that they have in their arsenal at the moment. 
So on the goal line, drop out. It, up to the halfway line. It's brought in by Declan K on tackle one. K gets up, plays the ball out of dummy half. It's going to go to Carberry. Carberry on the second tackle. We're fast approaching the 20-minute mark here at Odsall, and there's no change to the Pulse 2 scoreboard. It's still Bradford nil, Rochdale 12, and Rich Rochdale, a second repeat set now. The 22 metres out from the Bradford line, just to the left of centre field. Carberry's second carry in this centre six. It now goes out to Moore. Moore once again along the line. It goes to Morris. Morris is brought down, the former St. Helens amateur. Five metres in from that far stand side. They're going to move it lateral, back in centre field towards more, more to Carberry. Carberry's brought down on the last tackle. Here goes Moore's out of dummy half to Morris. Morris has lost the ball there, and that is welcome respite. And that was Jake Webster. He raced out of that Bulls defensive line. He got the big door arguing on Ben Morris, and Morris lost the ball as he was looking potentially to send Jack Johnson over in the corner. Pulls two scoreboard. Bulls nil. Hornets 12, and currently it's the Hornets who are stinging the Bulls here. On a hot <laughs> afternoon, Lily at dummy half to Grant. Grant wrestled down in the tackle, plays the ball, 15 shy of halfway. Lily now to Ryan. Ryan's up to halfway for the Bulls. Two tackles remaining here. Can they build a bit of momentum as it goes on that right hand side to Farrell? And Farrell's going to be brought down on the last tackle. 10 metres inside the Rochdale half. Referee Gareth Hugh having a look at that one. Uh, Jake Webster's in there, and that's a penalty on the last. Farrell held down. That will please standing coach Miles Greenwood. Penalty count three penalties apiece here. That's awarded 40 metres out, and that is for not clearing the rook. Manny Wilde is going to find touch. 25 out from that Rochdale line. Exactly 20 minutes gone. It's Mick Gleddle, Damian Irving. It is Pulse 2 from Odsall Stadium, round 12 of the Betfred Championship and Bradford chasing the game after conceding those early two tries. They're behind on the scoreboard by 12 points to nil as Steve Crossley will carry the ball in past the Rochdale 10 metre line, five metres out, just to the right hand side of the post. It's going to go to Wilde, towards Lily. Lily flick on pass there to Mills. Mills now to Ryan. Ryan towards the line, looking for support. He's wrapped up there in a three man tackle as Talatoka comes in. So too does Brandon Wood. They're now going to go back in centre field via Mills to Kirk. And Kirk's brought down eight metres out in front of the Rochdale post. Wilde out of dummy half to Minchella. Minchella to Crossley. Crossley, brute for puts the ball down and Steve Crossley starts the Bradford fight back here at Odsall Stadium his third try of the season his last try was on Good Friday in that 33-26 win over Halifax he's one of only three ever presents for the Bulls in 2019 and that is the fight back here at Odsall Stadium 21 minutes gone Minchella with a favourable kick just to the right hand side of the balls and that is more like it from the Bulls. Yeah, and it's come to a man who deserves it, Steve Crossley. Uh, when they dominated the first few minutes of this game, Crossley went over and was held up. Um, he probably deserved the try there. He's pushed over to the right of the sticks in a nice tight play which has seen the first points come as Elliot Mincello adds the conversion to go 6-0 up. One thing the Bulls are doing as they get on attack there, um, which corrected there by Steve Crossley, was that the first pass from dummy half, from the, from the acting half position, Mick, it's going too wide for mine. Um, straight from dummy half, the ball's been spun two or, two or three players wide. What that's doing is really cramping the attack out on the edges um, and not allowing the inside players to draw defenders and, 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 and keep the Rochdale internal defence in around the ruck busy. So they actually... The Bulls are playing into the Rochdale defence's hands a little bit by playing it too early, too wide. Uh, whereas Rochdale are hurting the Bulls, on the other hand, tightly around the ruck. They're keeping it tight, making the Bulls make decisions, and we've seen errors come about of it. So the Bulls really need to get more direct in around the ruck, move the ball tighter before they go wide uh, to commit that defence internally. As the kickoff comes now, and the Bulls working it out off their 10 metre line. Liam Kirk on the restart, tackle one, 15 metres out. As Lily now goes once again back in at dummy half. Will do a bit of claret on the, the forehead still. And Bradford, you feel perhaps a late arrival to the Otsal party this afternoon, but they've finally woken up, it would suspect. And that'll be defogging Johnston on the third tackle, two metres shy 
of the Bradford 40 metre line. They're still inside their own half as Dalton Grant uh, goes on a mazy run there. It's still alleviating the burden on the, the forwards. They're on the halfway line. It goes from Lilly to Crossley. Crossley's brought down 42 metres out from that Rochdale line on the last tackle. It goes to Wildy, to Milnes. Milnes kicks ahead. That's taken straight on the full by Brandon Wood. And Wood's going to be met there by Mary Stoughton and Rowan Milnes, the two homegrown Bradford Academy products just outside his old 20 metre line Jock Johnson now out of dummy half he fronts up straight in a free bad tackle by Wilde Crossley and Ming Cheller, 23 minutes gone Pulls 2 scoreboard, Bull 6 Hornets 12 as they just move it down the middle trying to slow the game down a little bit Rochdale because Bradford have up the intensity once again Connor Farrell throwing his body weight around in defence along with Liam Kirk. Crossley comes in. So too does Wildy on that fourth tackle. They're on the halfway line here, Rochdale. They're not really making any headway. It'll be a kick out of dummy half from Danny Walker, the former witness man. And uh, Danny Walker's kick has found Ethan Ryan on his own goal line. And Ethan Ryan's returned that just past the Bradford 20 metre line. On the first tackle of this new set of six here for the Bulls. Ross Oaks, second tackle, carries Bradford. 10 metres, Shire halfway. Way. Milnes now in at dummy half to Lilly. Lilly looking for a gap. Takes on that Rochdale line. Carries Bradford inside the Rochdale half. Third tackle gone. 16 minutes to go to half time. Penalty count three apiece as it goes now towards Wildy. Wildy to Farrell. The two former Featherston men linking well. They decide to go down the middle and that is going to be. Fourth tackle gone here for the Bradford Bulls. Liam Kirk gets to his feet. Lilly goes probing down the middle. John Keir about to bring on a, a free man interchange. Colton Roach, James Green, all about to come on. Last tackle for the Bulls. Milnes, crossfield kick, looking for Foggy Johnston. Johnston takes it, finds the support of Ross Oaks. And Ross Oaks has got Bradford's second try of the afternoon. If this is given on the nod of the touch, George, they're going to say he's offside. No tries the call, it's a penalty to the Bulls. D. Foggy Johnston taken out in the air. Oh my word, controversy here at Odsall Stadium. And Gareth Hewitt will stop the clock. He's got to explain the decision now to the Rochdale skipper, Lee Mitchell. He's remonstrating with the touch judge. They want to be careful here, Rochdale. He's now going to go back on his defensive line. So one can assume the officials they have decided that Ross Oaks didn't ground the ball. But the first penalty, the infringement, was for defogging just to be taken out in the air. We've got 15 minutes to go to half time. It goes to Kirk on tackle one. Wildy in at dummy half. Misses out Crossley. Finds Milnes. Milnes to Lilly. Lilly to Ryan. Ryan caught in the tail spin there in a two-man tackle and he's brought down by Ben Morris just to the right-hand side of the post. They're going on the short-hand side to Dalton Grant. Dalton Grant has got three Rochdale Hornets defenders. That leaves them a little bit short and shallow in the middle area of the field. Farrell now to Lilly. Mrs. Lilly comes off the chest of Crossley and Wildy's knocked the ball on. That was terrible from the Bradford Bulls and that has got the supporters here in utter bewilderment and frustration. Pulls two scoreboard, Bulls six, Hornets 12. They've actually given away a penalty there, the Bulls, because it come off Crossley's belly and Wildy picked it up in an offside position. Terrible stuff. Yeah, very disappointing there. It came on the back of what I thought probably should have been, been a try. Fogg and Johnson, beautiful take there in the air. He was taken out in the air. Um, I, I wonder whether a penalty try might have been eventuating there. He was very close to the line when he was taken out. Mickey only had to come down and fall over. But nevertheless, it didn't happen. Bulls still trail six points to 12. Um, and Rochdale moving it off their own end. Um, not the most fluid of, of attacking movements, that from the Bulls, and an error on the back of it. Uh, those interchanges can't come quick enough. Crossley's done a mile of work. He's been very good. He's been a little bit one out. I think Kirk hasn't probably had the impact. Which Kirk, uh, which Keir would have liked. Rochdale surging forward inside the Bradford half. They've lost the ball as Declan Kerr, and that's immediately picked up by Steve Crossley. It's getting a little bit grubby out there, and the referee is, we'll say, first knock on by Rochdale. Scrum head and feet to the Bulls. Rochdale, after that penalty from the Bulls, were just conservatively, calmly keeping it in the middle area of the field. 
Uh, I don't know if you can answer this one, Damien, just quickly for me, while Bradford will have the scrum just shy of the halfway line. When you start a game of rugby league, you're supposed to be full of energy. Why is it that the Bulls are conceding so many points early in the game? Because this afternoon, it's now the ninth game of the season where they've conceded the first try. If I knew that, I'd be coaching Australia, Queensland, New South Wales and England, mate. I'd, I'd know the whole answer. You don't know, Mick. I mean, honestly, I know it's something that obviously has been highlighted as a reason. You can try your pre-game routine. You can try everything. Um, I, I don't know, mate. That's the big, that's the X factor, isn't it? Perhaps John Keir might need to get some alarm clocks uh, in the players' dressing rooms. Who knows? Wake them up. Wake them up. It's kick-off time, boys. Colton Roach now out on the field wearing number 32. And the former Huddersfield man will carry Bradford in side the Rochdale 30 metre line it now goes on a shift play towards Minchella he's brought down on the fourth and here we go debutant Thomas Doyle out there 20 year old former standing Lee amateur and Colton Roach now will take a pass from Doyle and he's brought down 15 metres out in front of the Rochdale post on the fifth and last tackle with 12 minutes out from half time here as it goes from Milnes to Lily Lily Grubbers kick one through he's chasing it himself but that's great defence there from Brandon Wood. He put his body on the line. He'll take the tackle. Five metres out from his own line. And the Pulse 2 scoreboard remains. Bradford 6. Rochdale 12. And didn't think we'd be calling a tight game after 30 minutes. I've got to be brutally honest. I agree with you, Mick, but that's a better tactic from Lily, putting it on the ground. Um, it's a far harder ball to, to, um, to deal with. As now there's come a penalty. Um, the Bulls have had a, a penalty without possession here. Rochdale come out. It was an obstruction there, Mick, I think. Um, the Bulls are going to have a, uh, a, sorry, a scrum feed here. Uh, 22 metres out. They need to start putting points on. As I said, a much better end of the set there. Lily Grubber in it. Didn't get the result he wanted, but a, a better tactic than going to the edges. Well, Bradford's widest margin of victory so far this season, 19 points. That was in round two. It was Swinton 12, Bradford 31. And those supporters and listeners who've been messages in in although Ethan Ryan's on his way to the line five metres out danger not over picked up by Ross Oaks Ross Oaks looking for his third try he's over the line and it's another penalty now to the Bradford Bulls that's their fifth penalty in this first half Rochdale guilty of not being square at the play of the ball it's going to be Doyle Doyle's going to tap it 10 metres out We've had 29 minutes gone here. The ball's still down by six as Colton Roach carries it in, drives it forward. First tackle gone, five away from the prize. It goes to Mills. Mills to Wood. Wood's now upended and brought down just on top of the Rochdale line. Doyle will pitch one. It's a perfect debut for Doyle. It's going to be given. Thomas Doyle. It's a try on a debut. And the 20 year old. Look at the cheers. Jubilation in the stands. The Bulls, they're going to be level. It's going to be locked up at 12 points apiece. Mick, it came from a very short hit ball firstly. It was set nicely from Mills. He found his edge back rower just off the hip, which we talked about 10 minutes ago. It sucked in the defence. It made the defence busy in around the ruck. Unfortunately, what they then did, they went to rush the, the short side because that's where the call went. And Doyle, great awareness from the young hooker. He looked up. He scuffled over from dummy half. That's a real proper dummy half's try there. He found a defence which had been barrel rolled. Do you know what else it came on the back of? It came on the back of a Colton Roach hit up, which was the sort of hit up that Steve Crossley's needed on his other edge um, to help him out with. His first two touches have been absolutely top draw, Colton Roach. Beautiful leg drive, great body shape when he's hitting the line, and he really sucked in defenders and, and, and made that compacted uh, the Rochdale defence. Really different tempo change there as Ellie Michello is lining this up. What's the predictor say, Mick? 100% from in front. Pulse 2 scoreboard. Bradford Bulls 12. Rochdale Hornets 12. 31 minutes gone exactly on the clock. We have nine minutes remaining in this first half here at Odsall Stadium. And credit to Rochdale. They're making the Bulls work incredibly hard for every point. A lot of character on show. Let's not forget both sides playing their fourth game in 13 days. We all know what happened last night when Wigan and Castleford met. That was a bit of a torrid affair. As the sides just perhaps working, running off that Easter period hangover. 
but it's looking a lot more positive here from the Bulls and Doyle now, Doyle's away again, Doyle's up and over halfway, it was a tackle from Joe Ryan, Doyle quick play the ball, Webster in at dummy half, to Lilly, to Mills, along the line, this is like poetry, it's poetry, it goes towards Oaks, and Oaks is brought down on the fourth tackle, 20 metres out, Mills now, finds Minchella, Minchella misses out Roach, to Lilly, to Farrell, Farrell on that eastern edge, to Webster, to Grant, Grant's kept on of the ball, how's he done that? Grant towards the line, that is something from the ma a magician. Grant's lost the ball, but it's touched a Rochdale hand, it's back to one, and here we go, the Bulls, a full set of six, ten metres out from that Rochdale line. Seven and a half to go to half time, Mikey Wood on tackle two, Doyle, does he fancy a double? He goes head down, rolled over in a four-man tackle. Minchella there at dummy half, two metres out, second tackle gone, Milnes is calling for it, it goes to Mikey Wood, Mikey Wood's over the line, the ball's down, referee says held up, there was an arm there from Declan Kay. we go back to the 10, third tackle gone, the Bulls will reset, reload, recharge, Doyle, Milnes, Milnes throws the dummy, loses his footing, Fourth tackle gone, one remaining. Bradford, five metres out, just to the left-hand side of the post. Doyle, Minchella to Stoughton. Stoughton, over the line, Matty Stoughton. He's held up. Unbelievable defence here from Miles Greenwood's Rochdale Hornet side. Bradford held up three times now on this centre six. They go back to the ten again. It's a last tackle play. Stoughton will play the ball, it goes to Doyle, to Milnes, Milnes crossfield kick, Webster's going to pinch it, Webster's recovered the ball, referee looks to the touch judge, says Webster's knocked it on, and the referee now will stop the clock, he'll get the nod from the touch judge, who's saying it's a knock on from Rochdale, Webster had the ball two metres out from the Bradford line. The referee's going to give head and feed here to the Bradford Bulls. No, he's not. He's saying Rochdale. Well, why not stick? Damien, we don't want to be accused of ref bashing here, but why not stick with your original decision, which was a Rochdale ball? Why stop the clock? Have a conference call for ten minutes. Haven't these people got homes to go home to? Oh, no, it was a wrong, it was a wrong call. Uh, Rochdale took the kick and got their hands on that. Uh, Webster came up with it, but hey, pe people make mistakes. Rochdale work it now out of the 12 metre line um, as they come on. A, I've got to say, Staunton's really coming into this game now in attack on that edge. He was unlucky to be held up there, re really bouncing, hitting, and spinning uh, at the attacking line and doing a good job. As again, Colton Roach really making a big impact here, um, as is Mikey Wood. Um, good interchange that from John Keir. Uh, the Bulls really need to capitalise this. They've certainly got a little bit of momentum now. Uh, they're starting to dominate. Uh, they probably need some more points, I think. Um, I think two more tries in this before half-time would be a better a place where the Bulls need to be. Rochdale ball in hand with Ryan Millington. Millington's brought down, five shy of halfway. That is the last tackle for Rochdale. They're in centre-field position. It's going to go to Scott Moore. They've weathered that bull storm, you feel. Moore, though, straight down the throat of Ethan Ryan. What can Ethan Ryan do here? He will try and plod his way towards the Rochdale line and is met there by the purple-shirted Rochdale Hornets players. Just outside his own 20-metre line. That looks a bit overzealous there on Defogging Johnston. Dan Abram all over the top there of Defogging Johnston. And Johnston wins Bradford's sixth penalty in this first half. Five minutes to go to half-time. Can the Bulls get some more points on that scoreboard? You almost suspect they've fully woken up now and we're going to see the full attack in array of what the Bulls possess as it goes from Oaks to Wood. Wood's brought down on tackle number one. They're 45 out from that Rochdale line. Four and a half to go. Ooh, Colton Roach's pass to Lilly is spilled. Second tackle. A sixth error in this first half here from the Bulls. And under John Kia in 2019, they're averaging just eight errors and they're already up to six this afternoon. Doyle, great tackle out of dummy half on Danny Walker as Walker gets to his feet. He'll play the ball, Will Walker. It'll now go to Ryan. Joe Ryan's brought down, 30 metres out from the Bradford line. And Rochdale now are looking for points here late in this first half. Scott Moore's gone without the ball and Bradford recover. Referee puts whistle to lips. This one is going to be a repeat set for Rochdale. They're going to say Jake Webster got a hand to it. That's caused a little bit of confusion in the stands. 
got to say, I think the officials have got that one right. So three and a half minutes to go to half time, and Rochdale, a full set of six here, Damien, 20 metres out. So crucial the Bulls don't make repeated errors that they made in the first 10 minutes here defensively. They need to be very, very tight around the play of the ball, or Rochdale will go through that angle again. That's exactly what they were looking to do. So here we go then. Rochdale, 20 metres out. Three and a half minutes to go to half time. Can Miles Greenwood's side get the Hornets back in front? It goes from Walker to Moore. Moore along the line. Dalton Grant's come out from inside and they're in at the corner. Great try there from Ben Morris. Morris is in. Rochdale kept the ball alive. Dalton Grant, when he watches that one back on the tape, He'll be a little bit disgusted that he didn't keep his defensive discipline. Jake Webster's remonstrating now with a touch, George. There's a lot of frustration out there on the field, but credit to Rochdale. Ben Morris has taken back in front. Look, I hate to harp on it, Mick, but again, that's the first set for quite a while Rochdale have had um, in the attacking quarter of the Bulls, and they've come up with, with points. Um, they were piggybacked down there with with a poor error um, from Jordan Lilly um, and, and a penalty, a well piggyback. So, look, everywhere else on this pitch, the Bulls, I think, have been pretty dominant today, except defensively in that 20 metres. And, and, and they've conceded three tries as a result. A tough kick here from the sideline uh, now for, the, um, for young Daniel Abram as he lines it up, Mick. What have we got here on the predictor? 18%. That one, though, has just faded to the left-hand side of the post. So Rochdale Hornets lead the Bradford Bulls here at Oddsall Stadium. Great spirit, great fight back. And who knew this game's potentially going the distance this afternoon? As we said, Bradford, their biggest margin of victory so far this season is 19 points. So for those that have listened to every game, every live call on Pulse 2 so far this season... We've gone the distance nearly every other week. We've got 90 seconds to go to half time. So Abram, he couldn't quite get that one between the posts. So it remains Bradford 12, Rochdale 16 after the early try from Moores and then Gillam. And then we've just seen a try from Morris in the corner. Abram couldn't convert and it's 16 12 either side of those two quick fire tries from Crossley and Doyle. And I think whatever happens in the next minute or so uh, nothing is going to stop the balls from receiving a John Kia blasting as Ross Peltier likes to call it Walker out of dummy half finds Millington, Millington's brought down Five Shire halfway, that's the fourth tackle gone on the restart, 60 seconds remaining exactly here at Odsall Stadium, it now goes to Walker, Walker finds Gillam, Gillam's brought down on halfway on the last tackle, they're looking towards Scott Moore, Moore with ball in hand, 45 out, sends it straight down the front of Ethan Ryan, the Bulls, what have they got in the locker, there's 40 seconds remaining here. Can they go 70 metres? Ethan Ryan's lost the ball in the tackle, but it's been stolen by Moore. That's a seventh penalty in this first half to the Bulls. Jordan Lilly kicks the Bulls inside the Rochdale half. We've got 25 seconds remaining here. What can the Bulls do? The trail, the down, 16-12. Lilly to Milnes. Milnes tries to go through a gap. 15 seconds remaining. They've got one more tackle, you feel. Ryan in at dummy half to Wood. Wood's going to be brought down. We've now got six seconds remaining. The 30 metres out in front of the post. It goes to Doyle, to Milnes. Milnes, kick, looking for Foggy Johnston. Johnston! Oh, the ball's just beat Johnston. He's got dead in goal. A game of inches. Half time here at Odsall Stadium. Bradford 12, Rochdale 16, Damien. Yeah, disappointing first half of the Bradford Bulls. Disappointing first half of the Watchtower. They get all day long. So, um, it certainly sent for a massive 40 minutes. Half time here then at Otsal Stadium. Bradford 12, Rochdale 16. Let's now hear the thoughts of Brandon Pickersgill, who made his eagerly awaited return to action in that win over Barrow on Easter Monday. Surrender! 
Thank you. Well, you're done. Done. I bet you've got the heads in that. Yeah, just with these guys. Heads in. Dock, lock, off. Ball in. Down side. Out. Yes, man, yes. I can't fall. Wait. Surrender. Stand. Oh, two. Let's move, Okay, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, Hand over. Good ball, mate. Back here, lad. That's right, how are you? Break. Break your players. Break. Ball. Go. First move. Come on, back and hold. Ball. Ball one. Two. Hold more left. Go. Go. Stand up. Okay. Oh, 
got 10 metres, hold, hold. Oh, four.
sponsored by Ruth Ryder, Gareth and Darren Ryder Smith, unit for number 12, Elliot Minchella. Reporting of gouging. How was this? Right, we'll wait there. Wait. Who's taking over as captain? Steve Duff? Who wants to take over? Who's vice captain? Jack. See there. We just had a ledge gouge in the previous tackle here, so I'm just going to put it on the report. Okay, it's on report. We still start with the scrum flag to the ball. The knock on. No, 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 you're just taking over as captain, so just do Right, well then, we're ready. Let's go. Let's go. Ready? Time on! Out! Oh. First move, ready! Hold. Wait. Side left. Oh, move, move. Back. Come on, back to ten. Go. Thank you. 
Okay now, thank you. Oh, 
Yeah, it's another right. try for the Bradford Bulls, sponsored by the Gabriel family, giving it up for number two, Ethan Rowan! Come on, I've got the match. Jordan, where do we get the heads in? Some formed. Go, Jordan. Head in. Shot clock off. Oh. Zero, zero. Touched him twice. Knocked on zero. That's zero. Zero. Yeah. Six sets there um, on the line and four of them come through points. Um, rugby league is pretty simple. You mount pressure, you crack. Um, unfortunately there for Rochdale, they're just fatigued. Uh, big Steve Crossley going in under the sticks tight. Very hard to manage. Uh, very difficult. They just run out of legs and they're too tired there. Uh, repeat sets. Uh, consecutive sets to defend on your line will often, more often than not, see points. Now 
of the Kansas City Rugby League. Uh, so look, really smart here. Jordan Lilly, as I said, he really didn't come into the game too much in the first half, but he's taken it upon himself those last three sets to come up with the plays and got the repeats. Very well done, Jordan Lilly. Bradford. Round for Bulls live on Pulse 2. Mick Liddell, Damien Irving, the Bulls have a lead of 20 points on the Pulse 2 scoreboard. It's Bulls 36, Hornets 16, and the Bulls, as we said, in just 13 minutes now, tries from Oaks, Doyle, Ryan and Crossley, 24 points in 13 minutes. Rochdale, you feel? They're going to suffer a, a heavy defeat if the Bulls continue this because there's still 14 minutes remaining as it goes from Michella to Oaks. Oaks is brought down, third tackle gone, the five shy halfway already. It now goes to Michella. Milnes fancies his chances. Milnes tries to get past that Rochdale defence. He's looking to offload the ball in the tackle, but Johnson and Walker wrap him up, and that's Bulls and they're five inside the Rochdale half. It goes to Michella. Michella's through. More look pass to Oaks. Oaks to Johnston, Johnston's inside the Rochdale 20 and Johnston's dropped to the floor like a red goal on the last tackle. They're 15 metres out, crossfield kick from Mills, Lilly, Ryan, they're all chasing it. Ryan juggles with it, knocks it back. Ethan Ryan's going to go in. This is a sensational try. Ethan Ryan is 11th try of the season. He got the bounce of the ball. The look that he found it backwards. And here we go. The Bulls have gone back to back to back to back. And it's 40 points to 16. It's another try from the Bulls. Ball. Sponsored by the Goodwin family. Give it up for number two, Ethan Ryan. Yeah, Gareth, you don't the no one to rock there on the 10. You don't the no one to rock there on the 10 metres. Keep talking to Thank you. 
interchange for the Bradford Bulls, leaving the field number 10, Steve Crossley, being replaced by number 32, Colton Roach. There we go. Oh. 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 Oh.
Ladies and gentlemen, today's man of the match, sponsored by Mary Jo Daly, have played his debut today. Give it up for number 33, Thomas Doyle! Thank <laughs> you. 